Vittorio, Little Vic, or Anna, born August 4, 1934, is a New York City mobster who became the temporary acting boss of the Colombo crime family. A challenge by Orana to boss Carmine Persico triggered one of the bloodiest mafia wars of the late 20th century, and the last major mob war in New York to date. Early life born in New York City, Victor Orana's father died when he was a child. Orana spent time in a reform school and eventually dropped out of high school. According to his son, Orana entered the mob life because the wise guys he knew had risen from humble beginnings and had become big figures in his neighborhood. In the early 1970s, Carmine Persico, the boss of the Colombo crime family, allegedly had a few people made into his organization. Even though the books had officially been closed since 1958, barring any new inductions, one of these men was Orena, who rose through the ranks and operated in Brooklyn, Long Island, and New Jersey primarily in labor racketeering. Orena was a well-dressed individual who projected a traditional business image. Acting boss in 1985, Persico and several leading Colombo figures were convicted of racketeering charges. In 1987, Persico and underboss Gennaro Langella were each convicted in the Mafia Commission trial and sentenced to 100 years in prison. In the separate Colombo trial, Persico was sentenced to 39 years imprisonment, Langella 65 years imprisonment, and Alphonse Persico to 12 years, on November 17, 1986. To run the family in his absence, Persico named his son, Alphonse, Alley Boy Persico, as acting boss. Persico had named his brother, Alphonse, as acting boss previous to his arrest. Persico then named a three-man ruling panel to run the family. In 1988, he dissolved the panel and named Victor Orena, a loyal capo from Brooklyn, as temporary acting boss. When John Gotti became boss of the Gambino family in 1986, Orana was able to expand his criminal dealings with the Gambinos. He became a top earner in the Colombo family, and increased his influence with Aloy and his brother Vincenzo, leaders of the Colombo Brooklyn faction. In November 1989, Orana allegedly ordered the murder of Colombo mobster Thomas Osria, who allegedly skimmed mob profits had let police seize the Colombo's loan sharking records, and had supposedly killed an associate of Gotti. On November 13, Gregory Scarpa, a Colombo enforcer and FBI informant, strangled Osria with a length of piano wire. Most believe it was because of RNA's strong stance against narcotics that Scarpa, along with fellow mobsters Carmine Sessa and John Pate, eventually turned against their boss. Third Colombo War By early 1991, Orena felt that Perisco was keeping the family from making money, and that he himself should become boss in his own right. In addition, Persico had been negotiating for a television biography. Orena and several others, remembering how federal prosecutors had used Joe Bonanno's tell-all book as evidence in the commission trial, believed this proposed TV special would bring unwanted law enforcement interest on the family. Orena first asked the commission to summarily remove Persico and declare him boss, but the commission refused, saying that Orena should instead follow mafia tradition and ask his capos if they supported him or Persico. In accordance with these instructions, Orana instructed Sessa, his consigliere, to poll his capos to see if they favored him taking over the family. Instead, Sessa alerted Persico, who ordered a hit on Orana. On June 20, 1991, a five-man hit team including Sessa, Pate, and Hank Smart laid in wait near Orana's Long Island home. As Orana was driving down his street, he recognized several men in the parked car. Realizing they were waiting to kill him, Orana drove away. By the time the gunman spotted Orana, it was too late to act. The Colombo conflict soon spiraled out of control. On November 18, 1991, Orana allegedly sent a team to murder Scarpa, who was ambushed as he was driving with his daughter and granddaughter. Scarpa and his family escaped unharmed. In retaliation, Persico loyalist Smura, 
a member of the June assassination team against Arena, was shot dead later that day. On November 29, Sessa survived a murder attempt while driving his car. On December 3, Scarpa sent a team to kill Arena soldier Joseph Tolino. Tolino escaped, but his companion, Genovese family mobster Thomas Amato, was killed accidentally. On December 5th and 6, William Cutolo sent teams that killed Persico loyalist Rosario Nastasa and Vincent Fuzaro. On December 8th, Orena supporter Nicky Grangio was killed. Soon after, Matteo Speranza, an innocent employee of a shop owned by Persico Associates, was murdered by a young Brooklyn underling Anthony Libertor and his father, who were trying to make a name for themselves with the Brooklyn faction of the Columbos. The Libertors cooperated with the FBI once imprisoned, but were not found credible. By this time, the Colombo warfare was receiving a great deal of public attention. On December 16, 1991, the Brooklyn District Attorney summoned Orena and the other Colombo principals to a grand jury meeting to testify about the conflict. The mobsters all refused to testify. As the war progressed into 1992, Orena was indicted on charges of murder and racketeering. To ensure his personal safety, he had gone into hiding at his girlfriend's new house, which was still under construction in Valley Stream, New York. On April 4, 1992, agents arrested Orena at the house. A search uncovered four shotguns, a large supply of ammunition, and a bulletproof vest. In testimony made in 1997, Gregory Scarpa Jr. would claim that his father planted the guns in the house to frame Morena. However, this charge was never proven. Imprisonment on December 22, 1992, Orena was convicted of racketeering, the 1989 Osra murder, and other related charges. He received three life sentences plus 85 years in federal prison. By late 1992, the shooting war had petered out and Persico remained in control of the Colombo family. On March 10, 1997, a judge refused to overturn Oren A's conviction. The appeal was based on an alleged conspiracy between Scarpa and his FBI handler, Lindley Tavecchio, against Orena during the war. On January 16, 2004, a judge denied Orena's appeal for a new trial. As of May 2013, Orena is serving a life sentence at the Federal Correctional Institution, FCI, near Terre Haute, Indiana. While in prison, he has become a Catholic Eucharistic minister, helping the priest administer the Eucharist and precious blood to inmates during Mass. References External links La Cosa Nostra, State of New Jersey Commission of Investigation 1989 Report, The Colombo Persico or in a Family, Post-Gazette.com Switching Sides by Bill Mushi Former FBI Agent Goes on Trial in Mob Tide Murders by Scott S. H. I. F. R. E. L.